I realized I hadn't exactly made a tutorial on involving vehicles yet, so here we are. Probably the easiest tutorial in the last few videos. There is no scripting involved. Yeah, you heard that right. Not an ounce. I do add some scripting at the end to just show you how to get AI and vehicles to follow you, but it's not necessary for the tutorial. So you can end the video there if you want. But for those of you that want to check it out, it's a short edition and takes almost no time at all. Let's get these wheels spinning. Okay, for this tutorial, we actually don't have to do any scripting at all. I mean, there's going to be scripting toward the end, only because I'm going to wire something up. It's nothing, anything that you would have to pay attention to for the tutorial itself. But it's there for if you want to kind of see what it is. It's a short little script. So we place down an AI spawner back there, uh, like that. And we place a move zone, like right here. Uh, we don't have to change anything on him, actually. We could actually leave it like this and it would still work, but we're going to change just a couple things. I'm going to change it to my team so it doesn't try to, you know, kill me. And we're going to make an elite just because why not? I don't, I'm not even going to turn it on to be spawned by script because I'm not going to do that. Uh, the AI zone, we're going to make sure that it's the one we have set down, which I'm not going to name it. You probably need to, but I'm not going to because we only have one on the field. And then lastly, you're going to want the vehicle that you want them to drive to be placed down inside this move zone so we're gonna put a ghost and and that should just about do it we can spawn now and it will work just fine and there he goes he's gonna jump in that ghost and then wait to find out what else to do next which you can script in what they do and all that's all that good stuff uh, later on and you can do this with multiple vehicles too you place that down uh, I'm going to extend the zone here a little bit. I'm going to duplicate the ghost. Not the move zone. There we go. And now we put... Uh, if you leave it at one, he'll just kind of choose randomly between the two. There's probably a way to script up, a way to choose exactly which vehicle. I just really haven't got into that. Um, but you can change him to having two units here. And we're going to put a, just a brute chieftain. No, no we're not. We are going to do, I don't know, a grunt, just, just because. And uh, that's it. Now we can go ahead and start it, and one will pick one ghost, and the other will pick the other. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory, I'd say. There they go. And that's how you get them to drive vehicles. Uh, for this next part here, I'm just going to explain a couple of things. Um, sometimes two two-seat vehicles are weird, uh, like a Wraith. Sometimes they will jump in the turret uh, with an ally of theirs, and sometimes they won't. Um, I haven't really tried it on a grunt yet, but I did with an elite. So I'm going to go ahead and switch him to an elite as well, like the rest. There we go. We'll spawn it and see what happens. One will jump in the gunner, or not the gunner, but one will jump in the driver's seat for sure. The other one may not, but sometimes they will. And sometimes it also depends on the AI. So let's switch that Spec Ops to another uh, Ultra. Curse this armor. My arms need to feel the fresh air. See, the different types of elites matter because he was in a he was a Spec Ops. He's an Ultra. He will jump in the gunner. And sometimes the uh, AIs just aren't programmed to be able to be in a vehicle or drive it like. Uh, Marines, they will only ride passenger in vehicles that a player is in, but they will not drive the vehicle themselves, and they won't, uh, and only banished vehicles can be driven by, well, banished AI. Uh, the only vehicles that, or the only vehicle that I'm aware of that Marines will technically drive is a shade turret. I'm going to put that there, and we're going to change this to a Marine. It was just a shade turret that I could get to work, but now that we have a Marine, He'll walk over there, and he'll jump in that. And, but that's the only one that I'm, as, as far as I'm aware, the only vehicle that a uh, Marine will actually attempt to pilot. Um, I haven't tried them all out, but the few that I have, definitely. But they will, uh, they will partner with you if you get into a UNSC vehicle. The Marines will. Uh, AI from the Vanished will not get into any UNSC vehicle at all. So I'm going to place a Razor back here. Like that and you'll notice the marine will walk over there 
that he won't jump in it. Yeah, he's over here. But he's he's just kind of looking at it. He's not he don't he don't care. But if I get in it and I honk, he jumps right in. This is the part I was talking about with uh, the scripting. So if you were only here for the tutorial about how to get them into vehicles, you don't have to watch anymore. But I'm going to set up just a small little script to uh, get them to follow us because I had did a tutorial on how to get AI to follow us. This, this also works for uh, AI and vehicles as well. So let's go to uh, events custom because I'm going to make it a little, a little panel we can just activate to get them to follow us. We go up here to AI modifiers, uh, set squad follow object. And now we need to grab another event. Events AI and on squad spawn with specific label, squad label. Uh, this is because we can't really get a squad without having it defined first, which it's just the just the work you gotta do to get this kind of thing set up. We're gonna go ahead and name this uh, here AI, just, just for the shortness of it, change it to local. We're gonna go to the same tab, but we're just gonna grab the set and get just like we usually do. That squad variable and plug it in like it's supposed to be and we're gonna be alpha because like I said before all AI that don't that you don't change the squad level to if you just don't go to that category they all just default to alpha but we're gonna change our scope to local make sure that's good and lastly we just grab a get squad variable from right here and we plug that into the squad make sure to change your information to match it which I probably need to go up here and change the identifier that I forgot to change here. No problem. Lastly, we need to, well, I wouldn't say lastly, but let's go ahead. Uh, now the activating player, the person who activates this button I'm going to press, which is me or any player in the game uh, that touches this and activates it, they will be the one that's followed by these AI. And we're going to set our radius to 20. That way the vehicle isn't like smashing into ours. And lastly, we need to get our uh, object, which we haven't created it, but I can create it simply by going down here in the scripting section and grab my button. And I'm gonna customize this button just a little bit to make sure we can just kind of push it as many times as we want. If something goes wrong, we can kind of push it again. I don't know, lag or something. We grab it and we go into our node graph and we bring it in here and just attach it like so. And that's it. I'm gonna wait until he gets in the vehicle first. Now here he comes, he's gonna come over here and I think they're gonna hover around that and sometimes they'll get weird and they'll just boost around slowly, but good enough, we don't have to worry about that. And yes, they will follow you if you are also in a vehicle. So I'm gonna put down a uh, Razorback and I'm gonna drive that around. And he'll follow me the whole time as long as I press the button to make him follow me. There we go. Now we're going to go over here. And he's just going to follow us around the map wherever we drive. Just like that. That was probably the easiest time I've had with the forge in a long time. <laughs> Luckily, this knocks out another key part about the AI that just didn't seem very clear within the game itself with a lack of options to select from the object properties and all kinds of other things that just aren't there. With that, we've put another one down and I'll catch you on the next one.